You had a day off in Cleveland yesterday. What was that like? It was great. Yeah. We got invited to a tattoo shop called um, Generation X Tattoos, and everyone there was dynamite. They were fantastic, and they tattooed all the boys and fed us and bought us beers and stuff. And, and it was it was uh, it was great. It was a <laughs> unique day off and fantastic. So what else did you do? Uh, yeah. Slept. <laughs> I was exhausted. I was out of it by ten o'clock. So oh, really? I, yeah. I, mean, I was. We just come off three in a row. I'm not a spry young uh, chicken anymore, you know. So uh, the old man needs sleep. You've been playing Cleveland forever. What's Fucking your, a man. What's, what, what's one of your best memories of, of playing here? Well, I remember there was one particular show. I can't remember the club. But back in the day before lawsuits were this uh, the mainstay and the, the scourge of all, I used to walk out on stage, you know, in the early days of Pantera and say, our stage is your stage, we're Pantera, wham. And so kids would come up stage diving and going fucking crazy. I remember, uh, like, the first song in, uh, s- kids were coming up on stage and going uh, absolutely bananas and they broke the headstock off of Dimebag's guitar. <laughs> but thank God they had the locks at the end. It stayed in tune and he finished playing the entire song. But it was one of his favorite songs. But it was fixable, so uh, no, no hard feelings. That's funny. Where would that have been at? I think somewhere in Cleveland. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the fucking place. I'm old, man. <laughs> so you've been out on the road for I think like about a week. How's the new material? Shit, I've been out on the road for I know that longer but. than that, man. <laughs> I got home from Europe, practiced with these boys for two weeks. Boom, got back out here, and that was with Down. I was in uh, right with the Europe uh, when I did the European tour with Down. So right, uh, not much time off. So uh, what's the question? How about the new material from the solo record? How's that been working out? It's interesting, man. Yeah. People are. Uh, Attentive, they're watching, they're looking a whole lot. Yeah. But when the song is over, it's like uproarous. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, they, they, the people that are here or, or people at the shows. You know, it's different. It's very, very different. I can't. You know, it's not all about the pit or right. stage diving or or your, your your regular thing that might be associated with me. Yeah. You know, I'm used to general mayhem when it right. comes to the audience. But the, the, this audience is very, very, like I said, attentive. They're checking out detail. They're checking out the new songs. Right. Honestly, the record came out uh, about two weeks right. ago, just just barely two weeks ago. So I think everybody's still trying to wrap their head around it, which is perfectly fine by me, man. Right. I, you know, I, I, it's an audience. Give me a microphone. I'm happy. I love it. You've been working a couple Pantera songs into the set, too, right? Here and there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's fun, man. Yeah. I love doing it, man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's, it brings back great memories. And also, you know, we we like to do excerpts here and there. You know, we don't we do not do full songs right. really here. Right. Yeah. But, but, you know, we give people a, a taste of things. So right. it's uh, different every night. Right. As it should be spontaneous uh, a lot of times most times nothing's scripted uh, except for nailing the songs correctly as a band but you know uh, once I'm up on the fucking stage uh, you know pretty much anything goes as far as uh, you know uh, improvisation right